Oh, Jesus. Did you say scoop out the poop? No, the goop. The goop. The goop. Got scoop out the goop. I'm on that thing. Welcome back to Alec and Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie, and on today's episode of Alec and Cook, we are doing a Thanksgiving special because it should be Thanksgiving by now. Yes. We celebrate Thanksgiving in Canada in October, so that's why we have it coming up this weekend, and we thought that we would share a vegan Thanksgiving-inspired recipe that you can serve at your Thanksgiving dinners this holiday season. And the nice thing about this particular recipe is that you can make enough of it to serve your regular guests who may want to participate in having a turkey like me. So we're going to be showing you guys how we make our stuffed Thanksgiving acorn squash. It's really yummy and it has a bunch of great ingredients in it uh, that will get you all in the Thanksgiving festive feel. So if you guys want to see how to make this Thanksgiving main dish, keep watching. Side dish, keep watching. Oh my god, main <laughs> dish. All right. The first thing you want to do is get your oven preheated. We're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. After you've preheated your oven, you want to get your acorn squash and cut it in half down the center and start to scoop out the seeds inside of the squash. After you put in a gallop of your vegan butter, you're going to want to sprinkle in some curry powder. About just a half a Teaspoon. teaspoons, just judge. Um, you want to use the curry to make it really flavorful. Yeah. After that, we're going to add in some salt, just a pinch of salt over top. Yep. And then lastly, we're just going to add in some ground pepper. Season them up. So after we have our two sides of our squash seasoned, we're going to place them on a baking sheet and bake them in the oven at 350 degrees for, I think about 40 minutes, just until they're about tender. Yeah, so you should be able to poke them with a fork. Now that the uh, squash is in the oven and it's baking for the next 45 minutes, we can now start on our filling. We're going to eyeball all the ingredients and kind of prep it all together. Using Brussels sprouts, apples, and onions. While Ali is cutting up the Brussels sprouts, I'm going to uh, cut up an apple. I'm going to leave the skin on because the skin has a lot of nutritional value. So as my mom's cutting up the apple, I'm going to start to cut up our onion. Again, we're just eyeballing it for the size of our two squashes. What's your favorite part of Thanksgiving, Mom? The turkey. No! <laughs> no, I think the, the most important part of Thanksgiving is that we're all together. And it's great. And we have a tradition where we ask everybody what they're thankful for, for the year, and what happened that was special during the year. So it's quite nice. Yeah. So you guys should all comment down below what you're thankful for. Yeah, absolutely. And then we can see. What are you thankful for? I think I'm really thankful for that I got the time that we actually do the show together. Mm -hmm. right, don't cry. I'm no, I'm gonna cook <laughs> the onion. Oh my god. I'm thankful that my mom will cut the onion for me. So after we have our veggies cut, we're also just going to crush up some walnuts because we are going to roast our vegetables with walnuts as well to add a bit of a crunch. We're just going to season them right now so they're ready to roast. So we're going to add in our Brussels sprouts, onions, apples, and walnuts into a pan and then mix it up a bit and my mom's going to season. Alright, so I'm now going to just drizzle some olive oil on this with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm going to add in a little bit of maple syrup just for a little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. 
Now that we have our vegetables nicely roasted, we are going to add it into our squash, top it with some vegan stuffing. Please make sure you get vegan organic, if possible, stuffing at the grocery store. There's a lot of really crappy stuffings out there that are just full of gross processed chemicals and things that you don't want in your body. So be mindful when you're buying it or make your own. After we've stuffed our squashes, we're going to just put them back in the oven at 350 for about five minutes to crisp up the oven, and then they should be ready to go. Alrighty guys, so that is how you make our stuffed Thanksgiving squash. We, at the end, put some pomegranates on it to give a little bit of a sweetness and a crunch with our walnuts, and it looks amazing, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Oh, good. And yeah, we're gonna dig into it now, see how it tastes, and definitely, this could be a main course for Thanksgiving. Oh, for sure. Mmm. -hmm. Good? Mm-hmm. We did it. That's really good. It's really good. The curry really makes a great offset to mm -hmm. the squash. It's delicious. And it's big enough to take up the size of a plate. So really, a person eating this might just have some salad on the side, mm -hmm. some nice bread. Maybe a little bit of stuffing. Yes. Be nice and stuffing. Mm -hmm. That's all good. Okay, another bite. And then we say goodbye. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're celebrating now in Canada or later on in the States. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. We make new videos every single Thursday. And yeah, we hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving and we will see you next week. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye guys. Bye guys. Now I'm fired up for Thanksgiving.